Good evening, it is Brian here at Fitzpatrick's Garage, Dublin Road, Kildare. This is take two because the batteries keep running out on this absolutely rubbish camera I have. Okay, so um, this is a car. It is a 1.6 diesel Sport. Apologies for telling you that's a car. Obviously it's a car. 1.6 diesel Sport in polished metal. Honda Civic in a Sport specification. Um, if you want information on the car, just give you an idea. Brian is my name, 86 If you want to WhatsApp, text, call me, whatever suits, I can give you information on the car. We supply finance and we deal with all the major lenders so we get good rates and then we can trade in any car that you have. We can make you an offer on that car. No problem at all against this one here. Um, anyway, the car itself, we know the car really, really well because the first owner actually used to work in the garage here um, and then we'll say uh, he traded in for a different car and the second owner bought it off us and and the good thing about it is there's a full service record for the car all the way through so it's been really well maintained and both owners have been quite fussy in how they've looked after the car so uh, in my opinion it is a real good tidy car overall very very well looked after so anyway in terms of condition on the car I'll go through that with you in a bit of better detail and the specification as well um, Starting at the back of the car, so this is facelift 2015, the start of 152. Around March of 2015, they made some nice improvements on the Civic. So when you look at the car along the rear, you have those nice kind of horseshoe style tail lights. And after that as well, up on the back window, the back window has a privacy glass effect in through here. So privacy is there, privacy is there. Nice black spoiler, which became standard on then these nice LED tail lights. After that, this is actually to deflect air off the back of the car to make it as aerodynamic as possible and it'll come back to fuel efficiency. And the bottom of the car underneath is really flat again in the efforts of keeping, um, uh, in the efforts of basically uh, having air flow underneath the car in the most aerodynamic way possible. Along through here, there's a nice diffuser which complements the black window and the spoiler all down through the rear here. After that, moving around, the wheel arches are black, which again, I think complements all that kind of stuff quite nicely. That rear bumper is in really excellent condition all the way across. There's parking sensors, a standard across the back. This is your reverse camera in through here, which I'll show you in a sec. And then the boot is in really nice condition, actually. All the panels and the floor and all that kind of stuff it's been really well looked after, actually. Very, very nice. Uh, over here and over here, we can use them to drop down the um, boot lid coming around to the side. That quarter panel is in really excellent condition. We're going to have to get into our workshop to check out the tyres and the brakes and all that kind of stuff. The car has been very recently serviced with ourselves, but I still need to check it out for tyres and brakes before it goes anywhere. Quarter panel in good condition, down onto the doors and over onto the wing, including things like mirror caps and all that kind of stuff. Very nice condition. Coming around to the front of the car, the bumper is in very nice condition, as is the bonnet, I'm, I'm sure there's a couple of stone chips, but I can't see any, but I'm sure they're there. But uh, it's very nice condition for a three-year-old car. Wing, doors, mirror cap over here again, all in very nice condition. So, looking down the side of the car, there is steel bars in those doors for side impact protection. 2015 facelifts, got this nice garnish down along the bottom of the doors, uh, which actually is functional, it saves the door down there as well, but it also uh, gives it a little bit more of a, um, a kind of fatter sort of appearance overall. The rear door card is in really nice condition. There is a child lock over here. There's electrics for windows in through here. These rear seats, um, three head restraints, armrest in the center, three three-point safety belt. Seats are very good condition. Floor with official, sorry, uh, genuine floor mats. Very nice condition. Kangaroo pocket over through there as well. Just to give you an idea in terms of size and stuff like that. If I'm sitting in the car, six foot, that's what you get. And then legroom here, that is actually, I wouldn't even sit that far backwards in that car. So I'll show you that in a sec, actually. I'd probably sit a little bit further forward. These door handles are hidden, so it just gives it that kind of more sleek appearance on the rear, more like a three door car. Um, after that then, by the way, there is options as well in terms of wheels, these are the standard 16 inch wheels that come on the car. However, we can offer you 17 inch options on that as well if you want, so just ask about that. The front fog light has a nice chrome surround in through here. This is a parking sensor, so there's sensors all the way across the front. Your daytime running light comes all the way down through here. You have your full headlight here, your dipped headlight through here on a projector. The engine in these cars is a 1.6 diesel this is a really good engine because it is 120 horsepower with 300 newton meters of torque. So there's lots and lots of diesel engines that are on the market that are good and efficient, but they're not much fun to drive. This is actually a fun 
car to drive. You put your foot down, there's lots and lots of power in the car. After that, then the road tax is 180 quid for a year. And they, okay, they do promise 78 miles per gallon, but realistic people, without trying, they get somewhere in the region of usually 60 to 65 miles per gallon. That's pretty standard without really trying. So out of all the cars we sell in that size and segment, I would say this is one of the best ones on fuel um, without compromise. Front and rear electrics, and after that then headlights are actually automated. While on the theme of safety, steel bars for side impact protection, curtain airbags up here. After that then side of the seat has an airbag, front airbag, and same treatment for your passenger as well in terms of the front, the side, and the curtain up high. Anti-lock brakes, there is emergency brake distribution, emergency brake assist, and then it has a forward-looking radar, so if it's about to hit that car there, and if I hadn't applied the brakes and I was driving it, it'll actually, under 32 kilometres an hour, attempt to stop me and slam on the brakes without me doing it. Uh, so again, great safety there. Uh, forward collision mitigation, basically, is what it is. Open the car, headlights come on because they're automatic. Wipers are also automatic when it rains. And then after that, on the inside of the car, oh yeah, one other cool thing, I can actually let the windows down. So if you watch the windows, they will drop from the key. Uh, well, provided I do it properly, so lock the car, yes. Unlock once, yes. Unlock two, yes. And then similarly, if I come over again and I look at the car, lock once, lock two, watch the wing mirrors, and watch the windows. All retracted very nicely. There's also an alarm with that and an immobiliser as you'd expect as well. After that then there is... Um, okay, so condition, floor, seat, dashboard, door card over here. Driver's seat, really good, really good guys. And it comes to look at the car. I think I'm going to be really confident that you're going to be happy with the condition. USB connectors so I can charge two phones, HDMI so we can play video up through there. Drinks holders, more power. After that then heating controls, which is dual zone, so different temperatures on each side. After that then in through there. Um, reverse camera, so when I go for gears, I get a reverse camera. And gears are quite nice, so nice gearbox where it is. Uh, this is your view, and then if you look down here, one, two, three, four, five, six. All quite nice, and then reverse over and back in through there as well. And as we were saying, it'll make noise front and rear because we have parking sensors as well. Dual zone climate, so different temperatures on each side of the car. Uh, has an auto stop start, so it means when you pull up to a traffic light, it's going to stop the engine revolutions to try and save fuel. I got Bluetooth in through here, and then after that, this is a leather steering wheel which goes with the leather gear knob down through there as well. Next service in the car is 79,000 kilometers, which is there, and the car currently has traveled just about 63,000 kilometers. Um, the service book, as we were saying, then is stamped up through ourselves in through there so all good that way uh, this is Honda Connect so I got touch and swipe and all that kind of stuff mobile phone in through here trip information aha which is internet radio audio information through there settings through there and then more Android functionality like an internet browser calendar clock all that kind of stuff in through there just needs your data to get onto the the web afterwards so um, but that's how that works again we can show you that the clocks engine revolution diesel temperature uh, current speed, two blue lights change to green when you're driving economically. The iMate is controlled from the steering wheel here, so it's giving me information like average speed, fuel efficiency, how much fuel I've got left, current time, all that kind of stuff in through there as well. Econ, which means if I hit that, it makes this less aggressive, it makes the throttle less aggressive, and it makes the cruise control less aggressive. Cruise control in through here, and it has a speed limiter as well. As we said then, wipers and lights are also automated as well. And this steering wheel in front of me can be tilted up and down or in or out as well. So rake, reach is what they call it. Nice chrome surrounds. These are all small things I suppose that I'll notice. These chrome surrounds even around the vents and stuff, and that brushed aluminium effect along through there, which weren't on the previous model that went before. So this is facelift 2000. 15 and there's some nice differences on that car anyway that is the car um, polished metal 1.6 diesel uh, so to summarize if you want a car that is medium sized and it is an extremely efficient car to run yes that can do it it's easy on Rotex yes they can do it it's easy on fuel I suppose is what I meant in terms of easy to run but even in terms of servicing there's no timing belt um, they're easy to service every 20,000 kilometers and really 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 reliable after that then if you want something that's a little bit different because let's face it there is a million gazillion golf folks 
I-30s and all sorts of stuff on the road but like with Civics is they're a little bit different so if you want something that is a little bit different but still easy to run still reliable and is worth a few quid when you're finished with it these are definitely worth looking at um, after that then if you specifically know about Honda Civics um, and you, looking, you are looking for a sport, which you know, your things like reverse camera and your parking sensors and auto lights and wipers and all the USB connectors and all the stuff that we saw inside. If you're looking 2015s, then I would urge you to look at this one because it's a nice tidy one. And I think it we have it priced reasonably to, um, what's the word I'm looking for, to reflect uh, that. And then after that, as I was saying, uh, things like um, finance and trade-ins and all that kind of stuff are available as well. So, if there's information you want in the car, please do not hesitate to contact me 086-843-1945. Brian is my name. Um, if you come to the garage, just ask for Brian. No matter where you are in the country, please do not hesitate to give us a shout. Thank you for taking time to watch, and I hope this particular car is of interest to you.